It's a 50 tags fact thingy my bob. Woo! Okay, so I was tagged to do this. I don't have anyone to tag after this, so I'll just go ahead and elaborate on my 50 facts about me. First of all, I hate horror movies. I hate them. I cannot stand to be scared. I can't go to haunted houses. I just, mm, -mm. someone scares me, I will punch you in the face. Um, but I love gore, so I don't know. I am terrified of escalators and see-through elevators. I'm also extremely afraid of heights. I am 4'11". I'm tiny! And 111 pounds fluctuates, you know. Eh. Um, well, another fact is that me, my mom, and my grandmother were all 30 years apart. So I'm 22, my mom's 52, and my grandma is 82. I collect Night for Christmas stuff, Invader Zim, and Lenore. I do not have a driver's license. Yes, that means I do not drive an automobile. Um, my nickname is Little Bat. Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> I will never, ever, 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 yes, Spice Girls. I will never play with a Ouija board. Nope. I will not buy anything that has a Ouija board on it. Like, the popular culture everyone is collecting stuff like that. I am very superstitious. I don't want to open any sort of portal or anything. Uh-uh. I have a superstition about splitting poles. I have been told it's an Irish thing. If I'm in a group of, like, Actually, just me and one other person. If I walk one way, and here's the pole, and then they walk this way, and they split the pole, I will have to walk around and walk the same way they go. Or I'll make them walk the other way, and we shall walk in one direction. You cannot split the pole. It's bad luck. Bad luck. No. Mm-mm. Don't do it. Many of my friends think it's funny and they'll start running around the pole and uh, I punch them. <laughs> I have never broken a bone. Fingers crossed. Please don't ever be my hands because I need these for artwork. I have had two cats, Shadow and Gracie. Shadow um, was like 11 or 12 years old when she died and then Gracie is my current kitty. And she's my first baby girl. Um, she's about eight now. I've had two gerbils. One just passed away. Um, it was Butters. <sighs> Butters Norbert Dan. Butters from South Park, and then the middle name Norbert is from Angry Beavers, and obviously his last name is Dan, because my last name. And then his brother, Templeton Daggett Dan. Daggett also from Angry Beavers. And then. Templeton is from Charlotte's Web. I've had a frog, his name was Boo Boo. I was like three or four. And a bunny named Thumper from Bambi. I, in the future, which hopefully mm, the next five, five, six years, I want all of these dogs at the same time so I can walk down the street and look like a badass. But they will be the most tame dogs ever. I want a pit bull. A German Shepherd, a Doberman, and a Great Dane, all black, and they have to walk with me, and I have to look awesome. And I also want to have like five cats at the same time, and then probably a bunch of weird exotic pets. <laughs> I have only flown on a plane once, and that was to England, and I've only exited the United States one time. I have only been to about five states. Illinois, Wisconsin, Georgia, Montana, and Washington. Um, other places I've gone through, but I haven't actually stayed to do anything in them. I have dyed my hair almost every color besides yellow and orange directly. Um, it might have faded to yellow or orange, but I've never 
started off yellow or orange. So maybe my next hair color should be orange. I mean, it's green right now, but meh. I have been asked this question, and I was kind of taken back by it. I'll tell you the story. I was in the laundry room, and I happened to sneeze because of the lint. Or the, yeah, I guess it's called the lint. I sneezed, and this guy said, bless you, and goes, oh, I am so sorry, did I insult you? And I was like, whoa, thank you, like, it's okay, like, I, thank you for considering that, uh, you were being polite that I sneezed and you, you blessed me. Um, it has nothing really to do with religion, so, you're good. Oh my god, are you so, are, are you sure? I like, cause I, I don't want to make you mad. Dude, it's, it, do you want a hug? I'll, I'll give you a hug. So I hugged them. Yeah, that was interesting. So yes, it does not insult me if you say bless you. I will say thanks. I have been called a Satanist many times. I've been called a witch. All sorts of weird stereotypes. Um, I'm not necessarily religious, but I would probably consider myself Wiccan because I do believe in nature. But other than that, I don't even really practice anything. I have to leave the room if people start watching Ghost Adventures or those horror shows or um, the ones where you follow people around and weird, like, saying problems and stuff. I'm a limp. I have to leave the room. I get very paranoid. I love art history. It's my minor. I might get a third major just because I love it so much. And I collect weird autobiographies on artists. I have not actually finished the whole series of Buffy. Yeah. It's, it's my ringtone for my cell phone. But I've never actually watched the whole thing. It's okay. I'll watch it one day. <laughs> I collect stuffed bats. I have about 37. There's a little thing right there. Or there. Somewhere. It's all my bats. All of them. I have actually been in a mental hospital. And... Yeah. I... Hold the doors open for anyone I see. I'm kind of like that um, Wilt from Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. He's like super polite and he opens the door like, after you, after you, no after you, that's okay. And I could literally stand there for probably a good day just holding the door open for people. And I also, if I'm at a train station or um, traveling or a airport or something like that and I see an older folk struggling to carry their bags, I'll be like, hey ma'am, or mister, or sir, do you need, do you need help with, you know, carrying anything? Are you sure? Do you got it? Like, cause I'll, I'll help you, even if I'm carrying like 10 bags myself. I, I just like being polite like that, especially because when I get older, I hope someone will do that for me. Um, also I live with my grandmother, so I guess I'm used to helping out. I'm just polite. What else? I have moved over 14 times. Um, I went to five different elementary schools. Uh, when I graduated high school, I won a few art scholarships and I got to have a little booth at a craft fair, which was neat, and they gave me a little ribbon thingy. And it was kind of funny because the people that also won from other high schools had a bunch of uh, nature-inspired artwork which is beautiful, don't get me wrong. I wish I could do realistic things like that. But I had all this death and skulls and morbid stuff and then it's like a beautiful bluebird in the sunset. It was fantastic. I am terrified of spiral staircases. I, mm -mm, I get afraid. I think I get vertigo when I go down or something. Maybe it's because I'm short. No idea. 
I am also terrified that if I'm in the library too long and they say the library will be closing in five minutes, if I don't get out and in time and, and I'll be locked in the library and I'll have to eat the paper of the books that have like cooking and recipes in it and I'll be like, oh my god, I'm starving, I'm gonna die, and then I'll never get out and it's like that Arthur episode I am a hemophilia and echilophilia. Um, that means I love the dark, or I love darkness, and I and I love blood. I have over thirty piercings. Um, that's including the ones that I've e I've either had re-pierced or taken out. Um, I only have three tattoos so far, but I have both of my sleeves. Drawn up, drawn up. Um, I just need to get money for them. You know, anybody want to donate to that? No, I'm kidding. I have played the guitar since I was 11. I have about six guitars and one bass. Uh, I end up in the library basement a lot when I go to the library, and I search for really creepy books. I collect hoodies and boots. All of the boots, all of them. I need all of the boots in the world. I collect all the dead bugs that I find in my room or my house and I put them in a little heart container in a little jar of salt because, you know, they need a burial place. They died in my house. I also, number 40, I can make almost anything perverted if I want to. <laughs> or I usually have inside joke in my head. I'm just perverted. Almost all the books I own, I have never finished them in their entirety. Um, I'll be like, I like this book! It's awesome! Reads half of it, gets bored, leaves. Yeah, I'm really bad at that. One of my favorite colors is actually purple, even from when I was like a little girl. I, surprisingly, used to go to a sports camp when I was about 8 or 9. And I had gotten the most touchdowns in flag football because no one expected me to do anything and I was the smallest and one of one of the few girls that played and that year I actually you know got the most touchdowns and in floor hockey um, the most goals it was awesome um, speaking of sports I love hockey football um, my teams are <laughs> Chicago Blackhawks Chicago Cubs Chicago Bears, Salukis, which is college. I have to like my college. Um, I save all of my notes that I have ever gotten um, in class that people have written to me. And I also save all the notes that I write down when I'm um, in lectures. So I have like stacks of just notes that I'll probably never read, but I keep them just in case. I cannot put on fake eyelashes at all. That's why in the one video that I have fake eyelashes, they're on the bottom. Because <laughs> I can't put them on the top. They always fall off. Um, in math class, I took out crayons and <laughs> markers and colored pencils, and I started drawing the notes so I could remember them better because I'm horrible at math. And my teacher was confused, like, what are you doing? And I was like, just wait, I, I'm doing an experiment. The experiment. I want to see if I can remember things better. And I did. That was the best grade I had ever gotten on a math test in my entire life. Which was a C, mind you. I'm an honor student, but I cannot do math. I can't. My brain does not work that way. Um, what else? I'm a huge hipster. Yeah, love and death. Yay. Him, that's how my stereo right now. I collect many, many him things. Heartograms. If you ever want to donate to my collection, I will love you till death. Um, I believe in soulmates and karma. And the last thing for my 50 facts tag is I'm an only child. I have no one to tag after this. But if I think about it, I'll put you in the 
description box you think.